Welcome to the Toolsec tutorials of Autodesk Maya. All right, so we continue to Toolsec Randomizer. Let's deal with Command Mode. In this mode, Items panel will accept any kind of component selections like Vertex, Edge, Face, UV, Transform, so on and so forth. Internals panel accepts Python commands. You can left click on the commands label to get last executed mal command quickly. So let's create a brand new polygon cube and move over here and click on the commands label to get last executed mal command quickly. All right. You have to convert it to Python equivalent though. To do this, you should use Maya CMDS namespace. There's a custom context menu button for command mode only in internals panel that you can benefit to quickly append this namespace. There are two more buttons over here. Item is a string list variable holding names of items in current iteration. And random.get is a method returns a random float value calculated internally based on your configuration in current iteration. You probably have to use both of item string and random float in a Maya command to get a proper result. Click on the randomize button to see results. All right. Let's create a brand new polygon sphere for this example. And let's select some of vertices over here and move these over there and click on the comments label to get last executed mail command, load these selections and let's convert this into the Python equivalent. Let's insert our namespace and do the necessary steps like cutting these values and pasting into the beginning and separating these values with comma and let's convert this into a boolean value like this and let's insert our item over here and let's change this with our random method over here all right and let's click on the randomize button to see results same item set rule for object mode is also valid for comment mode therefore don't forget that item variable can keep multiple names as a list which is separated with spaces in an iteration. Click on the randomize button to see results. All right, let's enable set checkbox, clear our panel and append these selections as a set and click on the randomize button. And now you will realize same random value are assigned into our selected vertices. All right. There is no internal set because internals are custom commands in this mode. Besides, you can write its own code that will assign same value to different parameters. All right. There's a preset tab over here which contains several configurations in command mode. These presets are based on default preset. So you have to switch default before switching any other preset properly. All right, let's test them one by one pretty quickly. Bevel is for transforms and is not applicable for component levels like faces, edges etc if they are not appended as a whole set because it changes component ids so next iteration becomes non-deterministic all right so let's try bevel 
For this example, let's create a brand new polygon cube and let's duplicate it using duplicate special. Let's make nine copies, translate X2, click on the apply button, select all of them, translate Z2, click on the apply button, select all of them, load them and click on the randomize button to see results. All right. Chamfer is applicable for vertices as you can confirm in edit mesh menu you will realize that there's a post commands panel over here you'll get more detailed information about post commands in one of future videos all right so let's try chamfer let's select these vertices disable flat checkbox load them and click on the randomize button to see results. All right, let's enable flat checkbox again. Extrude vertex, extrude edge, and extrude face buttons, as their name points out, are applicable for vertices, edges, and faces. All right, so let's try extrude. For this example, Let's create a brand new polygon cube and let's smooth this cube by the division something like 3. And let's switch back default, switch extrude vertex, select vertices, load them, and click on the randomize button to see results. All right. Let's switch back default. Switch extrude edges, select edges, load them, and click on the randomize button to see results. And one more for switch back default, switch extrude faces, select faces, load them, click on the randomize button to see results. All right. Paint gray, RGB, HSV, HSL buttons are applicable for vertices, faces, vertex faces, and transforms. They are vertex painting commands which have grayscale, red, green, blue, hue saturation volume, hue saturation lightness, color models. The latter three have three random functions which represents channels of RGB, HSV, HSL separately. You'll get more detailed information about sequential functions in one of future videos anyway. All right. Volumes are interpolated from 0 to 1. For example, in red channel, 0 means 0, 128 means 0 0.5, and 255 means 1. You'll realize that there's a pre-commands panel over here. You'll get more detailed information about pre-commands in one of future videos. All right, so let's try paint. Let's switch back default and switch paint gray, select these cubes, load them, and click on the randomize button to see results. And switch paint RGB, click on the randomize button to see results. Let's change, let's change red channel something like one, and green channel something like one. All right, let's try for hue saturation volume and let's make hue something like one all right let's try for hue saturation lightness and let's make saturation zero so this will give grayscale results all right you can also apply these for vertices so let's try this grayscale vertices or red, green, blue vertices. 
or faces or vertex faces and we'll have to wait a little bit because the number is a little bit high all right wire presets are similar to paint applicable to objects and will overwrite wireframe color attribute of objects all right so let's try wire for this example let's create a brand new polygon sphere and let's duplicate it using duplicate special nine copies translate z2 and maybe a little bit higher three and translate x3 all right let's enable wireframe in our renderer and let's switch back default switch wire gray button select these objects load them click on the randomize button to see results and red green blue use saturation volume use saturation lightness all right same item set rule for commands is also valid for presets remember to switch default when you're done to reset randomizer configuration all right thanks for watching me see you in the next video